Well, this next story made headlines. An NYPD officer accused but now cleared of attempting to kill and cook women, including his then wife. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor sat down with a man dubbed Cannibal Cop for an exclusive interview, and she joins us now with a preview. Alice, I am so interested to hear what he has to say. Yes. It is a very compelling interview, Maurice and Christine. Gilberto Valley, or Gil, as his friends and family call him, says he's been living a nightmare for the past three years. We sat down with the now 31-year-old in his mother's living room, and he didn't away from anything. Every question I asked, he answered. Something I lived with since, I mean, puberty. You know, some, I was aroused, but, you know, TV shows, movies, what a woman in bondage, you know, that's what aroused me. So why not stay with just the bondage? You know, why escalate? Three years ago, Gilberto Valley's long kept secret was exposed to the world. There are a lot of people out there who are aroused by a lot of weird things. No one would ever admit to it openly because it's embarrassing. But for me, it's out there. You know, so what am I, I, I can't hide from it. So. His dark fetish cost him everything. So you don't even know what she looks like right now? No, we have no idea what she looks like. Valley hasn't seen his baby daughter since just before his arrest. She's now four. His wife divorced him. The NYPD fired him. When the FBI came to arrest me, they had six guys with guns pointed at my chest. Accused of attempting to kidnap, cook, and eat at least 100 women, a jury convicted him of kidnapping conspiracy. I spent 21 months in prison for a crime I didn't commit. It was overturned, but the damage done. So you're not a violent person? I'm the least violent person you would ever meet. Now, a lot of people want to know, how did this all start? What exactly was he doing? Is he working now? Is he in therapy, dating? He answers all of that tonight at 11, right here on CBS2. Yes or no, Alice? Any surprises? Of course. Yes. Of course. You were I mean, surprised. I just sat there and was amazed at how candid he seemed. I mean, there mm. really was nothing he shied away from. Anything I asked, he openly answered. Now, whether he was being truthful, I, I don't know, mm. but he answered. So... Tune in at 11 for sure. We Looking will. Looking forward to it. And nice to have you back, Maurice. Thank you, Al. <laughs>